Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have this note for this is my personal uh, unit that I purchased and I've been using this for about eight or days and I also got uh, this review unit from Samsung uh, of the Note 4. This is stock. I haven't installed anything, uh, but I noticed that uh, generally on all, all of my own uh, Samsung devices, I uh, make some small tweaks. It's basically very easy and generally uh, they speed up the phone a little bit. So I'm going to show you those and it's very easy to do. You don't have to root your device. So we'll do this on this new uh, Note 4, thereby speeding it up a little bit. So this is my personal uh, Note 4 unit that I've been using and as you can see if you move between the menus it's fairly responsive and whenever you press the home button also it just instantly reacts and this is the one that I have this is the review unit and I did not install any uh, third party apps etc just apart from one app so it's fairly stock as you can see there is slight minor delay in this though still uh, by default the Note 4 is pretty responsive. Uh, but if you press this home button it does take quite a bit of time to come uh, we'll fix that but to uh, speed up the animations it's actually very easy you can easily do it and you don't have to root your phone to do this just go to the settings and uh, if you go to the system and go to about the device and here you'll find the build number hit this about seven to eight times till it says that the developer uh, is enabled and just go back and you'll see this developer options just go here inside this one and and you'll see these three things that's windows animation scale transition and animator scale and they are at 1x by default change it to 0.5x or if you don't want any animations you can just shut it off i just keep it at 0.5x and now what it'll do is now the animations will be a lot quicker as you can see now it's reacting a lot quicker another thing with the note 4 and again this is with almost every samsung device is that whenever you press the home button there is a slight delay it reacts after a second and the reason for that is on many samsung devices including the note 4 by default if you double tap it opens this S voice. So it actually waits for that. So that causes that delay. Uh, but if you're not a heavy user of S voice, you can just disable it and just say do not allow. Go here, go to the start. And now if you go to the settings, here there is this command uh, open via the home key. Just remove that. And now instantly you'll notice that whenever you press the home button it in reacts instantly so that also speeds up thing another thing with the note 4 is that if you go towards the left extreme you have this flipboard and i think so that also is a little bit slow to load if you're not a big user of this one it's a good idea to disable it and it's very easy just pinch like this and here you have the home screen settings go over there and just remove this you can also play with the transition effects if you want we have three and you can also shut it off if you want. So now your Note uh, 4 should be a lot more responsive. But again, still, if you feel it is not very responsive and you do not like actually touch this, uh, fortunately, Google Now Launcher works very well on the Note 4. And you can easily download it directly from the Play Store. Just search for this Google Now Launcher. And I'll show you that. I've installed that on my uh, main Note 4. And uh, as you can see, I'll just launch it. Uh, once it's installed, you have to go to the settings by default right now in TouchWiz as you can see, but we'll enable Google Now Launches. Go to the settings and here in the application tab, go to default applications. And here on the home, just click here. By default, it will be on TouchWiz, select it to Google Now Launcher. Now we are on the Google Now Launcher. And as you can see, we extreme left, if you go, uh, we have the Google Now that also works. Uh, and this is actually pretty fast, I would say. As you can see, it's blazingly fast. And Google Now Launcher works very well. Also, the good thing is that it works perfectly well even with the S Pen. So you do not lose the functionality of the S Pen even though if you use the Google uh, Now Launcher. Another thing is that we do have support still for a pop-up uh, uh, application. For example, if I do this, oops, just go back go to the multitasking and I can still pop out the applications so that functionality also works so you can also use the google now launcher and it works actually very well with the note 4 let's say now you just want to go back to the default touch vest. that's also very easy just go to the settings again uh, go to the application tab and here from default applications go to home and here just select as touch vest home and now if you press home you're back to the default 
touchwise. So I hope that this video was helpful and it helps you in making your note for a little bit faster. If you found this video helpful, I'll appreciate if you can click the like button. I've also posted several other videos on the Note 4, so make sure you check them out. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.